Hi everyone, welcome back to a very special episode of XCOM. Today I'm actually going to do something very strange and unique and you guys will love it. Um, so I was trying to mind control uh, uh, in the ethereal and apparently it's because I don't have enough Psy. And one of the ways you can get more Psy happens to be getting a mind shield. How many mind shields can I make, I wonder? Fuck, I want more, I want more fucking mind shields. Anyways, um... There's another mind shield. Uh, it's because I don't have enough size. So today, we're going to go and try and mind control an ethereal, even though it's probably not in my best interest to do so, but I don't even care. Uh, so, um, MQDO Gypsy support. Uh, he's still major. He's the only one. Literally, I'm just going to be trying to kill everything with him. Um, I think Mr. Colin is my one who can, yeah, he can, he can mind control. So instead of the ghost armor, he's going to put on the psi armor. In the right hand. This suit could be the most dangerous thing we've ever developed. We've done it, Commander. Dr. Vaughan is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. I recommend we get started immediately. So you see it raises her will by uh, 20, which is kind of nice. Defense by 10, HP by 6. Not particularly powerful, but you know. If I put Mind Shield on, it apparently raises it by another 50, but up, sorry, by another 30. Apparently that might be defensive only. See, it says strengthens users' wills against psionic attacks. I don't really know. I'll keep it on anyways, just because for fun. Um, unless you guys don't like fun, in which case, well, you know, screw off. I don't know. Uh, and we have some Titan armor here and all that kind of stuff. Apparently, um, XXX Snipes for 20 didn't actually have a, t a Titan armor, which is why he died. Kind of makes me sad. Oh well, not really. I wonder what kind of uh, armor de decal. What the hell? I, I can put like this ugly thing on it. Okay, well how about not? Mr. Colin, you put look pretty schwab just like that. You're like my sniper whatever in this. Okay, well, uh, I think we're all good here. Let's go. People really want me to use assault, but you know, Eh, I'd rather have the two RPGs, and you'll probably see why in the last mission, don't worry. Touching down. Hopefully this is going to be our last mission for the last one. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Well then, hopefully this is not a huge UFO. And my other hope is that I can actually mind control an ethereal this time, so I can be sad, happy, not sad. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, big sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. By caution, you mean run as, as fast as humanly possible in, in, in there, right? Uh, okay, Mr. Colin will move up. Volkov will just move over here. He, he still has his ghost armor, so he's, he's gonna be pretty cool. The reason why I'm going to move up Mr. Colin is so he can go Psy attack somebody, and I might as well just, like, well, I, I'm going to use Psy Inspiration at the end. Hopefully, uh, uh, we won't have to deal with anybody major. Uh, just end the turn. Because he's going to have so much potential for, like, mind controlling and everything, I'm, I'm going to love it. You know, I'm, I am kind of, I am really honestly curious on, on what the hell this, uh, this side wall even does. Uh, let's just move up here. Now, I think I might just use it for a turn, just to see what the hell it does. Like, telekinetic field, what the hell does this even do? Alright. Well, everything's, I, I guess it's in this large radius here. Kind of neat, I guess. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see what it actually does. Um, inside. Oh, plus forty defense. So everybody around her gets a little bit of bonus. I don't know if it's. It's kind of like a smoke grenade, I guess. Sort of. I don't. I don't know quite what I think. Telekinesis, telekinesis is magic. What can I say? I don't have to explain shit. Well. 
Well, we see some of them over there. How long does that thing last even? Is it gonna like remove this turn? Probably. Oh no, yeah, it's gone now. It's only for one turn. What's the, uh, I wonder what the cooldown is on it. I guess we'll look in a minute. Oh, no contacts. Now yeah, it's spooky. Uh, yeah, it's a four turn to cooldown. So if I, if I use it, it's for one turn, basically. Which, you know, that's not necessarily a problem, but, you know, it's still. It's something to take into account, for sure. Just kind of wondering what I did. All right, uh, so we have potentially the UFO straight up there. I've actually been here. I, I, you know, it's kind of fun because you can see where, like, I've started here once, remember? And then, like, uh, this is where, uh, this is where Mr. Shiv died. He died, like, over here somewhere. I recognize this map. I just started in an odd place. It's kind of awkward when, when you begin to recognize maps. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go behind the tree here. Eh. The thing with snipers, you can just bring them pretty much anywhere. And I like to dash my heavies in, so. And I'll end the turn. Alright, well, uh. Let's kind of move up here then, I guess. Here we go. Utah Elites, hello. How are you doing today? My name is Mike Latt. Let me introduce you, my best friend, Volkov. Although I will want to shoot one of them with, uh, with a grenade, probably. It's not really shooting one of them. So let's do this, because they'll destroy one cover and damage one, destroy the other cover too. There you go, and now one's not behind cover. Mkudo can... Okay, Mkudo has two options. Mkudo can go... Okay, we have a rocket here, and we have two rockets here. And these rockets will hit all of them, and also does nine damage. So I didn't really need to use that other thing. Because, you know, I have I have rockets out the wazoo. I just want to let you all know that. Um, so me using it is not actually a bad thing. I can, however, get a shot on that guy. Just weighing my options here. That guy's, like, not even hittable. Um, he will do up to 8 damage. This guy has, like, much more health than that. So I'd honestly need to probably do more damage to that. So I'm actually, you know, I, I wasn't thinking about it, but I think I should actually use a rocket to damage them all. This is, like, an easy rocket to get all of them with. Actually, this guy's not in cover. I should probably use the guy that was in cover. Oh well. Don't judge me. Okay, well, Mkudo, kind of hop on over here. Say hello. Okay, we got 64, and then we have a 56. Not a very good chance to hit. Uh, however, Mind Fray is 100% chance. And I know that does 5 damage, at least, so. Eventually he'll get his level up with kills. All right. Uh, 35 on that one. Volkov gets a 45 because he has a scope bonus. And we can move our, our other heavy up here. Unfortunately, he's just shy of being outside of cover. What else do, who else, what else do we have? Um, let's just hope one of my snipers can do it. Yeah, okay, I figured, you know, I had four shots of snipers. I figured it would be doable. Oh, and he also had another, sh well, he technically did have another shot, but you know, whatever. Remember, this mission's all about Mkudo today. Mkudo needs his level up, so, you know, every, everyone, everyone give him a big, uh, big round of applause. And uh, he also has an alien grenade, which we're gonna use at some point. Oh God, it's a sectopod. What have you done, Mkudo? I blame you solely for this fucking atrocity. Alright. Uh, let's see. Shredder rocket, just outside of range. Normal rocket. 
just outside of range. Okay, we have a couple of options here. I'm actually going to be inclined to move him over here. This way he won't be ta ta taking any damage. Then I'll move him back here for the turn, which my two heavies will then also be here. That's the plan. Alright. Because this is a really bad spot for me to be in. Triple Strike also should not be here. Um, you'll go over here and help support. There you go. We shouldn't have a trouble because he's just, he's in the completely wrong place, so it's okay. Whoa, what the fuck? This is not good for me. Okay, sectopods are notoriously extremely slow, so I'm not too concerned about the, the sectopod at this point. I, I just hope that they're notoriously really slow. So wait, why are they just here? Are they just gonna like take it? I guess so. Good shot. Uh, unfortunately, well, I do have a headshot ability. I can get a guaranteed crit now. And that is enough to actually kill him. Eh, we'll shoot this one again. Oh, I'll have to hit him again, apparently. Didn't actually expect that. I mean, he had, he had a really high chance to crit. Alright. I say we, we overwatch just because there's, we have no reason not to. The sectopod is not going to be in range anytime soon. And we get to shoot one of these little drone things. I kind of I want to capture one, but at the same time... It's probably unrealistic. Alright. So, uh, to start us off... You know, I, Oh wait, actually he can move here. Now, unfortunately there's no actual sectopod here anymore. Now, me knowing all everything there is to know about sectopods, I know they're not very agile, so... Um... Where did you go, kids? Can you find out? Uh. This is spooky. So, uh, in in the game in a game like XCOM, this is probably not the kind of situations you want to be in. Um, because, you know, I, I, I'm kind of going in blind right now, and, and my, my, my squad's greatest strength happens to be in, uh, not in chasing after second pods. What? Oh god. He's up here, isn't he? He, he did a fucking motor attack over there, because that's where he last saw me. Uh. Well. Time to do it. Huh. Well, I'm noping out of there. <laughs> I I don't know at this point. Um I, here's my second here's my other problem. One of my heavies can't actually get a shot off, so he'll I'll put him over here in case one decides to come over. Uh and with my snipers actually overwatching, they there's no way they should be able to get, get out here and do any substantial damage. It looks so like really destroyed up here. Well, I can move my my uh, sniper all the way over here, and uh, we're gonna get a reaction shot. I'm Kudo for fuck's sake! You don't need to die this mission. Well, you have telekinetic field. Wow. Well, let's see, snipers. Snipers cannot get a shot. This one can't even get a shot next turn. That's ridiculous. What's in the way? Oh, I think I think I need to be a little bit further down. 
Yep, there we go. We got a shot. All right. Triple strike. I need you to come right beside your friend here and go heal him. Because uh, we don't want to have you uh, dying next turn. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got. We got an opportunity to shoot one and two. That one is the one that's going to move towards me if I happen to damage him a little bit. Um, I kind of want to use telekinetic, telekinetic field on him, to be honest. Uh, we can use my suppression heavy, but that would be only for next turn. Is that actually a... Okay, good. It's cover. Ah, go ahead. Try and shoot him. Okay. No, no, no dice. Okay, so now we get to actually use this fantastic telekinetic ability. That seems kind of fun to use. Sparkly glowy. And, uh... I yeah, know. No, no bonus for you. Alright, well, let's just reload your sniper then. Okay. This guy has balls. I I have to admire him a little. I mean, he just used two sprints to basically just get right beside one of my enemies, uh, one of my allies. And he's gonna overwatch up there. All right. Well, you know, this shit should be relatively easy. We just uh, shoot him. And he kind of he kind of gets kind of butt mad. And he legs over here. And I kind of want to just pistol him, because uh, I'll do five damage, leaving MQ to actually kill him. Well, up to five. Kudo, say hello. That's not how we say hello. Fuck. Well. Guess you're gonna have to be the one to finish him off. I didn't actually expect that. I was hoping to get the maximum damage out of that. Alright. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, well, actually both my snipers... This, well, this sniper can hit two of them. My concern is mostly with that one. Now, not having the scope actually makes this a little bit more difficult. And nor does she have up to 10 damage. I doubt I'm going to do that, so I'm actually going to use Disabling Shot, which actually incurs an, an aim penalty. But he wouldn't be able to shoot. No, let's just kill him normally. And you missed... Uh, no, you didn't miss, actually. Alright. Zang can move during his turn or suppress. Griffith can just kind of sit here and look pretty. Um, I'm actually wondering why I can't get a shot off. Oh, well, now you can shoot them, but it's, not, it's a little bit too late for that now. Alright, well, I say you suppress in case that one decides to say hello. And we're gonna keep that guy pinned down. Which means we also can get a bit of an overwatch and we destroy his cover. Uh, there's a sectopod up there. I just want to mention that right now. This could be considered an issue. God damn it, Inkudo. Alright. Here's what we got. We got a level up just, just dying to happen. Look at this. Look at this fucking grenade. Oh, delicious grenade. Alright. So we need to see who do we have sectopod shots with, and that would be... Uh, abilities on cooldown. Alright. We have delicious, delicious sectopod shots just waiting to be done. Oh! Oh, Mkudo. Oh man, dude. Holy shit, Mkudo. You got this, bro. Now to make sure this is the perfect grenade. It's not the perfect grenade. 
Zoom out a little. No, I don't stop that. Okay, apparently it's just not going to let me do that. That looks good. Okay, throw that grenade. Throw grenades what you mean. I don't know if that actually earned you a level up. It's not actually telling me, but whatever. Oh, that should be the easiest shot in the world to follow up with. Alright. Well, we got a reload here and a reload there. Oh, you can't reload. Um, I think we're going to need another uh, health pack for you. Here you go. No sense in not doing that. Mkudo is the meat shield of our squad. Alright, well, we're just going to skip the turn then. Alright, let's see if anyone up. We're just going to reload everybody. Because it takes just one turn and there's nobody waiting for us, so it's fine. Well, I guess uh, we're going to the cockpit now. Do you know why they call it the cockpit? Wait, I made that joke already. Never mind. They called because shut up. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our dad taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since there's such good size in them. Yeah, I see that. Daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull one. <laughs> Sometimes I pull one so hard. I rip the skin. It gets bigger when I pull it. <laughs> Sometimes I pull on it so hard. I rip the skin. My daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our dad taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since there's such good size in them. Yeah. All right. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. And ethereal. Yes, I knew it. Oh fuck, don't run away. Your leader, your fearless leader, leader needs you. Alright, well, it's time for a shredder rocket. Fucking hell, this is huge. Well, everything's gonna take more damage, so. Uh, I just, I don't wanna... What the, what, what the hell does Q and E even do? This is what I, this is what I mean, I, I don't wanna actually, like, accidentally hit this cover here, because then I have to move my sniper again. It's hard not to. Okay, I should do it. Go shred a rocket. Alright. Uh, triple strike, I think, has his smoke. Yes. He does have a smoke grenade. Uh, oh, careful, careful. Don't, don't do anything. Okay, Mr. Colin, I want you to mind control. 57! All right, uh, Mkudo will will kill someone today, but I want to try mind control right now. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, where is uh? Actually, is this this is Mkudo? So he should use Psy Inspiration. Yeah, you'll you'll get killed next turn. Don't worry. Go Psy Inspiration. This is gonna make. Our fucking will go as high as it possibly can, okay? I, I'm just gonna show you this delicious will bonus I have right now, okay? 192. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 87. 87, guys. 87. Cross your fingers. Fuck yeah. A cereal's mine. <laughs> Alright, this let's play is totally worth it. I, I regret nothing. Alright, well, just, um... I want to kill one of them and just see what the other one's reaction is. I mean, I can kill both of them, but I want Inkpew to get a kill, too. And okay, and just end the turn. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Oh, don't- My ethereal! Ah, oh, it's okay. It was all worth it. I kind of wanted to use, like, an ability that the ethereal had, but, uh, whatever. Well, uh, where are you, Mkudo? Oh, well, you know. Show him how we say hello in- in Earthling. In. Good job. Mission accomplished. Well, let's go back and let's see if we got our final upgrade.
Because that's, that's all we really came here for. You know, we can just fuck everything else. We just wanted the upgrade. Well, actually, we got to mine control uh, Ethereal. That that was worth it, definitely. I mean, we've never really gotten to use mind control in the next current turn because they always manage to kill my uh, the mind controlled guy. Missions like that are sure to boost Fuck. everyone's confidence. Well, well done, Commander. Not really, because Imputer needs an upgrade. My confidence isn't. Well, I guess we're not quite done. Well, we're prolonging this. Oh, well, you know, keep the world spinning round and round. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So it's a supply barge. Uh, we don't... We will be in touch. I don't really want to deal with a whole lot of shit on the supply barge. We're just going to bring out the one with the Phoenix Cannon. Just because we want to see something other than EMP. Because EMP actually saves a lot of the crew, so... You know, if you want to do captures and shit, Engaging then bogey. you can do that. I think something like Fusion Cannon would be much more effective. In, re in regards with that. I'm pretty sure we have the supply barge. It has a lot of HP. Whenever you're done! Wow. Okay, I was just about to use track. Well then. So, encountered heavy resistance. Uh, and we have Crystallis, Muton, Muton, Berserker, Floater, Ethereal, Muton, Elite, and Heavy Floater. Well, we should have no, absolutely no trouble getting MQ2's upgrade for next time. Probably should have shot up, uh, that Ethereal, but you know. Fuck, what, what do you want me to do? He just needs, like, two more things. Just go blame him, okay? I'm sure he'll comment on something so you can go yell at him. It's his fault for everything. Oh, well. But we're gonna actually de-equip, uh... Uh, this person's, uh, ghost, uh, we're gonna put it back on ghost and, uh, scope because we, we got our, we got our mind control in, so. That's all I really wanted out of that, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and remember, we will be watching.